Hello, my name's Sarah, I work for Avery UK and I'm here to tell you about our design and print online software. It's a free label creator for anyone to use to help them create their Avery cards and labels. Specifically today I want to tell you about our barcode generator. A lot of people don't even know it's part of our design and print software and it's actually really useful if you work with barcodes at all. We can't actually advise you on the barcodes itself, um, you need to talk to somebody like GS1 for that, but what we can do is turn your codes into barcodes uh, Free. So, I have just created a template here, it's, it's all made up so um, I don't have any barcodes to use. So what we'll do is uh, I'm designing and print uh, canvas here and I'm going to click on QR and barcodes on the left hand side. Um, we have various different barcodes in the drop down list. Um, so just press create. At Avery, we tend to use EAM 13s because that's what we have on all of our products, so that's something I know. So I'm going to drop down here and find EAM 13, and I know it's a 12 digit number, so just put in 12 digits. Then I'm going to click on this refresh button, that will regenerate the sample view so I can see that the number has been accepted and it has. Click on finish, and there's your barcode. Um, if you resize it, it will always keep. The ratio the same because you want to make sure your barcode is always scannable so don't worry about that. Now you've got barcode on every single one of your products because uh, in your navigator and the edit all button that's a very important thing, edit all, edit one. So that's an EAN 13. Let's also have a look at other kinds of barcodes. So I'm going to click that QR and barcode piece again. Uh, this time I'm going to go and put a QR code on there. Uh, with QR codes you have different options, so you've got text, email, I'm going to use a URL because um, that's probably the most useful. So pick URL and I'll oh, just put the Avery website in there, the one I use most often. Uh, click the refresh button again, you can see that the QR code design has changed very, very slightly. Click on finish and there's your scannable barcode. So now if anybody scans that with their phone, they will open up uh, the Avery website on their browser. I'm just going to show you one more thing. Change product quickly here. Uh, that's all we do. So, we had quite a lot of customer requests for a new barcode which we didn't have in our database. So, that was a GS1128, which a lot of people use for stock, stock management. Um, so, we've just added it to our database of barcodes, um, and this is how you use it. Again, can't advise you on how to create your. GS1128 code, you need to uh, get advice from GS1 themselves for that. There's a lot of brackets and various things, so I'm just going to make one up. Don't do this at home. And then click refresh, and then click finish, and there's your GS1 barcode ready for your stock. stock take. We have another demonstration video on how you can also use the mail merge tool within the barcode generator. So that's if you have a whole list of barcodes that you need to put onto different labels, we've got a tool that will instantly apply those to different labels. So I would recommend you check that out. Hopefully this has been helpful for now. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.